What is going on? So glad you guys are tuning in to watch my video today. My name is John. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, jump into a uh, a deck I've been messing around a little bit. It's not new. Check that I got an epic in my free chest. Never got a legendary though. It would be nice if I did. If you guys ever had one, congratulations on that. So <clears throat> I like playing challenges better than I like playing um, the ladder. I do play the ladder just to... Um, make sure I get my crown chest every day and I have uh, at least one or two chests in my chest slot so you know a little progression um, uh, added on to the challenge uh, winnings that I get helps out a lot right so what we're doing here is we're working with a, a giant deck that has zap ice golem electro wizard elite barbarians elixir collector uh, the fireball and the archers now the electro wizard isn't necessary in this deck i used to play this deck before the challenge and i would use the mega minion um so it's just a common rare deck in that case uh the electro wizard i just like because of uh just a little more help against uh inferno towers and and things like that i could take the zap out but it's just too good of a card here we're playing a classic challenge because i've only got a few thousand gems so I'm trying to save them Save them a little bit. I don't really like to open chests from the shop. I will buy the uh, legendary chest. I actually got a legendary chest in my shop last night at midnight when the store refreshed. And I was able to, um, I got the lumberjack. That was the last card I did not have inside of the game. Um, granted, I haven't used it in it. I probably never really will unless it just really fits well into the deck I'm trying to use. Um, I feel a lot of people use those cards. It's kind of like just something different, or maybe if it's the only legendary you have, then you want to use a legendary card, then find a way to squeeze it in there. But I do not think he's uh, one of the better legendary cards. Um, the Electro Wizard, however, is uh, about to shut down these uh, Fire Spirits right there. So what I'm trying to do is get a... a but look at this, he gets, two, he gets 200 shots, I think he does 800 damage if you leave him lost, so I'm trying to get a laser collector down, it's, cl it's good for me that he just uses minor right there, um, on defense, so I can go ahead and throw this ice golem to soak up that, because if I take four, I'm going to take three of those fire spirits to the face, if I don't put that there, and he's going to absorb these other ones so they're not landed face first into my archers, um, who's going to defend this hog rider, but he's got my tail, uh, tower down to 694 but that's okay because i've got his down to 860 and so i'm not a i'm not a in this deck i'm not gonna split push you're never gonna see me split push um you can't rush the other lane if they drop like a golem or or a lava hound a sparky some big elixir card that you know that hey <clears throat> a lava hound is gonna take 14 minutes to get to my tower anyway so i might as well go ahead and and uh, wait on it here. Now, uh, the Electro Wizard really shuts down the um, Inferno Tower here, and I blow up his uh, Elite Barb. So I have Elite Barb with 1% health and Electro Wizard left to take 600 <laughs> health points. Any other troop combined with a 1 hit point troop is not going to take that tower out. Now, I could have tried to defend and put a bunch of Elixir into this. Instead, I just play my Elixir Collector down and get ready for overtime because that tower was done um just some cycling from him was gonna get it get it down so i didn't want to waste elixir on that side now <sighs> i got my uh, giant down a lot of people like to use their elite barbs on on defense and i definitely agree with that and that's a lot of fireball value right there for him he got my archers half of my elite barbs and my um electro wizard so great fireball well played from him uh, so he's he's uh he's dropping the hog rider in my base which isn't a bad play but by now he realizes i do not have a building to deal with that uh it's just going to be troops that are going to kill off his hog rider for him haven't been playing well i wonder i take that back i won the electro wizard challenge if you guys seen that video with the, a deck with the furnace in it but normally i'm not too much of a of a building player uh i, I mean i do have the I didn't even. I just now noticed that fire spirit jump right into my uh, elixir collector over there, but that's all right. So we're coming in hot right here. We got the. Uh, I'm gonna zap that inferno tower, which really it doesn't help. The electro wizard wasn't able to reach it. He had good placement on it. The reason I put that ice golem down my lane is to go ahead and prepare for defense of this um, uh, elite barb right there. I go ahead and fireball that furnace as well. 
as the tower and I waited for the elite barb to get down so that the uh, zap effect for my electro wizard could hit both of them I was able to survive and stun the uh, hog rider from getting any more damage off I'm learning how to play with him better um, I went a little bit of uh, I had a good zap on that uh, inferno tower it's is I'm still not perfect at learning how you're gonna set that up but I got I got electro wizard and two elite barbs and that tower is completely history he puts his minor down well played um, good game for to him for that. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna jump into the next battle here against uh, Dirty T from Muff Munchers. Okay, so I really like to have my um, Elixir Collector in my starting hand. Unfortunately, I don't have it here. So you could defend first, but I, I hate setting it full Elixir. Like, I've done it in a couple of the late battles in a, a Electro Wizard Challenge to where it's just so close. And I know that we're both fighting for our lives to get this 12th win. I, I will sit up there and wait for you to make a move. Um, I probably shouldn't have played a Zap here. I probably should just let this die out and, and reset for defense. But, I mean, not a complete waste of two Elixir, but I wasn't able to kill the, um, uh, the Princess there. So, I have no cheap counter to the princess, and I don't want her sitting there killing my tower off. So, I drop elite barbs to kill her after I uh, use the electro wizard to stun the, um, the goblin barrel. Now, you could replace the fireball with the log if you had that legendary card in order to make the deck a little cheaper. Um, but, it doesn't take stuff like uh, archers out. You can log and zap archers, uh, but then... It's the same, the same elixir cost as a as a, a fireball, but it's not. If they're near the tower, it's not going to do as much tower damage as the fireball will, even combined together. Uh, I think a log does right at 200, and a zap does 75, I think, and then the fireball does 229. So it's just not going to add up. If and it, see if he leaves this electro wizard alone, he has to deal with 200 damage to his tower every hit. But he did, and he addressed it with a, a Mega Mini, which is going to die to my tower. Now, he has a lead on damage, but I definitely have the Elixir lead right now. I have a 6 Elixir, uh, six elixir Pump Down, and a 5 Elixir Giant, and I'm back to 4 Elixir right now. So, I'm building up the massive push. I could drop my Elite Barbs on the other side and go ahead and rush it, <clears throat> but I'm not going to. I don't think he has a Fireball, or else he would... He would definitely get now. The more I could stun that uh, bowler, the better. I fireball and zap that inferno tower is done. Uh, I should have ignored. I probably should have ignored the uh, miner, um, but I didn't. And I think I do not take the tower here. But I mean, it's definitely it's definitely done. Um, he's just spamming. He's definitely got a chip deck. If you place the electro wizard right, you can take out two of the goblins. Um, and then you can, you know, stun the other one. And you will get one hit onto your tower from it. But there's eight seconds left. There's nothing he can do. Um, he zaps my tower while he throws the goblin barrel. That's a little bit of a BM move, if you ask me. And you will see me BM in this video. Just wait till the end. I normally don't BM, but I'm going to. So the classic challenge is 10 gems. But the um, grand challenge is 100, but it's just multiplied by 10, the winnings are. So you're getting the same amount of value. You just have to win 10 classic challenges to equal the value of one grand challenge 12-win uh, tournament. Uh, so here I'm going to split push uh, split the archers here. Uh, I didn't know he was going to drop that hog. I dropped the ice golem in front of there just to make him have to deal with it. Unfortunately, he, he decides not to deal with that, and he just puts everything into this side, and um, I have to fireball his archers because I know that hog is going to remain there for another three or four seconds, and those archers are going to do a lot of damage, and then once the hog rider dies, then my then it takes two shots for each archer, so they're going to get off about, the, yeah, that tower would have been in fireball range pretty much. Now, notice how I drop my Elite Barbarians to the side and away from his. I don't want to drop them straight in front of his because they have a one second deploy time. And if I do that, then they're going to have to, um, mine are going to get hit in the face one extra time before 
they can hit him back. So they're definitely going to lose that fight if you don't deploy him right. Here he's being really aggressive and uh, he's doing a good job of not allowing me to get in rotation. I'm constantly spinning all my elixir. Um, and this is a 4.0 elixir deck. Uh, you could have some success in this if you could defend and make it to uh, double elixir. Um, but the the best win one of the win conditions or that's going to help your win condition is definitely an elixir advantage um and luckily in this battle he's not trying to take out my elixir uh collector he's just trying to make me he's just trying to punish me for now look at these barbarians they're swinging at the exact same time but watch this you see that right there his kill mine and um i was i pulled my zap out like i was gonna zap him and and I guess I was just in such disbelief that I never zapped them. <clears throat> so I wanted to put my Electro Wizard down onto that uh, Hog Rider. And I thought better of it because I knew the tower was dead. And I just saved him for uh, building up my big push right here. Now I'm trying to make him pay here. Very good fireball by him. But I got another giant down. So I'm just trying to force my way through this, put that giant in front of everything else and let it all take it out. I'm cycling as fast as I can. I got double elixir turning in and I got a elixir collector down. 20 seconds left. It's not looking good for me. There's still 1,500 points. Now watch this. He says good game because there's 10 seconds left. But I got my archers down. Ice golem. He misses my archers and the electro wizard. I hit him with the thanks for a good game. I'm cycling my fireball. And bam, what do you know? This thing ain't over, son. Don't be BMing me if you don't if if it ain't over. Like, I ain't gonna BM some I ain't gonna tell nobody good game like that unless I know it's over. Of course he thought it was over. Now he's sitting at full elixir right now. What he should have done was drop his elite barbarians on the bridge and punish me because I was broke as a joke when I dropped that giant. But he allowed me to get back to full elixir. Um his fireball here is gonna be a little late, uh, because he didn't have the elixir for it. Had he had a pump down and was cycling faster, but I just had to spend eight more elixir just to kill off those archers and um, mega minion because I didn't want them. But I'm going to keep the pressure on right here because why not? Um, I don't really like dropping hog riders into people's bases, but I do like dropping giant. But he had an ice golem and elite barbs and two towers shooting at that giant, so it's definitely not getting a swing. The reason I dropped that ice golem there is because I want the elite barbs. I know they're going to kill it, but I want my elite barbs to be able to kill the hog rider before his elite barbs are smacking on my elite barbs. So I'm going to go ahead and drop another um, giant in his base. Luckily that uh, electro wizard killed his ice spirit because that freeze would do a lot of damage to me. But now I'm just a couple fireballs away from winning. Um, I'm, I don't know that that was the best play to defend with those elite bars because the mega minion is up killing one of them off But that's okay because I'm not gonna mess with it I'm just gonna reset because I know his next push is coming. That's why I'm putting that electro wizard down uh, I mean my, the ice golem and then the electro wizard, but he just takes the tower hit He doesn't hit my electro wizard which comes back to bite him because watch this He drops his elite barbs down and now my electro wizard is stunning them, right? And I knock him back with the fireball, one hit to the face with the giant, and I BM this guy. I don't like to BM, but I BM'd him because he hit me with a good game, thinking it was over and it wasn't over. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to come back. I'm going to try my best to get some new content out every day with a new deck for every, you know, every day with some good things for uh, ladder and challenges. You guys have a good day, and peace out.